Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Champion Cycle. Danny's got a little treat for you guys today. Something nice and rare and something that I don't think we've ever seen around here before. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, man? Champion Cycle, bro. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Champion Cycle. We're going to go ahead and start with some of our tutorials that we told you guys we'd be doing. Uh, we got a question on one of our previous videos. The install on the throttle itself was to answer uh, one of our viewers, Vincent De La Cruz. This video was for you. Hope this answers all your questions. As you can see, we're fully done. Our throttle's working, everything's, there's no return cable in case you guys are wondering why it's tanning back slow. And that's it. Okay guys, today we're gonna be installing one of these trick internal throttle cable wiring systems from Exile. It allows us to get rid of these throttle cables altogether. This is a 93 fat boy. Kind of like what you guys see on all the custom choppers and the crazy builds and you guys at home might think Oh, that's pretty cool. How do they do that? Must be some heavy cost to it, you know, stuff like that. But really, it's not even a bad piece. It was under 500 bucks for the whole unit, and that includes the part, the cables, everything you need. Everything you need to install this. What comes in the box? You get handy manual, so you know what you're doing. You get the actual little full-blown custom-made trick part. That is the internal throttle assembly. You get a cable, there's a nice big cable, and you get your little bag of odds and sods to tear off the cable. I went ahead and removed a couple things, but I, I kind of briefly put them back on so you guys know. You want to take off your throttle cable housings, just take them off, let them dangle. You want to remove your grip, whatever grip you're using, a grip's a grip, right? Throttle cables will look the same. Unless you've got a newer model with fly-by-wire throttle or something, it'll be a little bit different, but that's a different system anyways. This is for throttle cable equipped bikes. Next step, you're gonna to wanna to start dismantling your tank. Some bikes have a single tank, some bikes have a dual piece tank. This is Harley's I'm speaking about. I mean, they make these for different makes and models, but realistically, every different type of Harley also runs different dash panels. Some of them don't even have dash panels. So on ours, it was just two bolts right here. I went ahead and removed those already. Some of them only have one bolt. Some of them don't even have any bolts and it bolts from up here. They're all different, right? So then you're gonna go ahead and take off your main bolt for your dash. You're gonna wanna remove the side. That's gonna allow us to lift the dash panel right off. We're gonna wanna remove the dash panel so we have access to removing the tank. Now, if it's a single tank model, you'll just take your bolts off your tank and you'll lift your tank back and do what you gotta do. But this is a dual tank model, so I was able to just Take one bolt off right here, one bolt right here, one bolt down there. So bottom of the tank, top of the tank, and near the back of the tank. You don't even have to take off your fuel line bridging hose. You don't even have to remove that. Instead of taking the whole tank down and copping off the lines and dealing with fuel and all that nonsense, we're just gonna put a nice rag to protect the chrome. We're gonna pull the tank away now that I've already taken those three bolts off. We are going to just kind of let her dangle. Uh, if you're wondering about this line that's kind of pulling, it's just a venting tube, so I'm actually enjoying that it's helping me support the tank. You can see the factory throttle cables. As you can see, one of them is kind of already dangling. That's because we took off the grip, so it's loose now. The next step is gonna be, we have to measure and cut our new internal throttle cable. Let's call it a gizmo or a gadget. Let's call it a gadget. So the factory grip, we kind of know the positioning was about here. You can kind of see where it used to end at the bar. The Exile internal throttle cable assembly has to go inside the handlebar. So as you can see, because we're working with an older bike and this is kind of a universal part, but at the same time they sell them based on measurements, they did not have a measurement for us that would fit our particular application. As you can see, it's literally a feather away from perfectly sliding into that throttle tube. 
So what we, what we have to do either way is take a look at where it's gonna end. So we know it's gotta be, it's gotta go underneath the grip. So we're gonna kind of pair it up to where it needs to be. And then you know where your grip is gonna end. Cause at the end of the day, you're not gonna put it here because your control is here, so it won't work. So this has to fit perfectly with that, but if you look here on our, on our handlebar, if we do that, it won't work because our handlebar, this has to be exposed into the grip and our handlebar is too big. So we've gone ahead and drew a line, as you can see with the marker. We're gonna go ahead and cut that and that's gonna bring our throttle to, to the line. Well, come on with me, we'll take this to the machine uh, little machine shop we have going on here. <laughs> so next step, we got our little exile doohickey. Let's see how much came off of that on the lathe. You look at the bar, we go in. Nice, minimal play, because you want a little bit of slack, right? Look, perfect fit. Next step is we're gonna remove the throttle cables. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove these cables from here. I'm gonna follow the line and I'm gonna remove them from right down here where we showed you guys earlier. Once those cables are removed, we're ready to install our new cable and now we'll see where we're at. Oh, there we go. There you go, bye bye. So we're just installing this applied throttle cable and it was a bit of a squeeze to get in there. Well, the right thing to do would have been take the tank off, Go ahead and take your air cleaner cover completely off. Maybe the base of the air cleaner cover would have to come off, then it's easy peasy. But I mean, this saves the customer 45 minutes of billing time. So the end, you can see the actual cable and there's the cable housing. It comes unfinished, so we can cut it to spec. As you can see, if we were to route it, look at how long it is, that ain't happening. So we're gonna use this length though to feed it through to the size we need, and then we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do about trimming. So now the fun part is trying to squeeze this cable through this handlebar. We are gonna route it from kinda the other side and then come back to this side. As they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. Feeding it and pushing it right in that little, that little cut hole down there. It's here, hell yeah. Amazing. And as you can see, Our cables all the way through. We're gonna have a nice bit of slack so it's not binding when Buddy turns his handlebars. And look at this nice clean wire cut game. Boom. Yep. Wire runs in parallel with the rest of the wires. All proper down there. Cables nice in the guide, nicely routed. What I'm gonna wind up doing before we're all said and done is I'm gonna wind up putting that cable on the top of probably this harness right here, right here, and I'm gonna just put a zip tie loosely just so the cable stays off the rocker cover. So now that we know that the new throttle cable fits perfectly, we're gonna cut the bar to our line. Just backed it up out of the way. I'm gonna put a rag over homie's gas tank here. Make sure uh, Diamond keeps looking like a diamond. So we have our black marker that we marked before. Right there, we've already measured. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Go ahead and test our little exile Ooh. unit. As you can see, she's pretty good. I got glove. Perfect. Looks amazing. Look how clean That's it is. That's pretty much how it's gonna look. No more cables, nothing. So we'll go ahead now and start fastening our exile unit to the bar. Next step is we've pulled our cable up through the bar. Now I've pulled some of the actual throttle cable back out of the housing. As you can see all the extra cable, I pulled it back towards the carburetor, thus pulling it out of the throttle housing. So now at the end of our bar, we're gonna cut our throttle housing. So I'm using some ultra sharp Mac tools cutter. I'm gonna push my cable back in. And there she is. We have to still trim this, but we're not done yet. So we'll trim this after. Remember the piece we machined down, our little exile internal throttle cable unit. 
So what we're gonna wind up doing is we're gonna wind up using a form of glue. We're actually gonna be using um, urethane, what people use to hold windshields on cars. We're gonna put a little bit on there. You see these little, our little guide holes, they come threaded already from Exile. We're gonna wind up measuring the distance from the start to the end of the hole center. And then what we'll wind up doing is we'll mark it dead straight on the bar. We're gonna push it right in. We're gonna drill a hole so we can then put our set screw as well as the glue. So we went ahead and we measured the distance from there to there, from the center of the pilot to there. We went ahead and we slid it into the bar and made sure we had an accurate marking of where it's gonna be. Start with a punch. A lot of guys will just try and drill this bar and you'll have a drill bit walking sideways and dancing on you. Nice and clean hole right through the bar. We're gonna fit the cable through just so we can go ahead and get our measurements. Gonna slide it in. And if you notice, we're bang on right where we want to be. We're gonna lather this little bad boy with the urethane. In case you guys are wondering why I didn't put any of the urethane on the back of the quote unquote doohickey, is because when I push it in the bar, if it's in the back, it's gonna slide over the hole and then turn into a catastrophe when I'm putting my little locking bolt in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that cable, which we still have yet to trim. Slide that cable. As you can see, I got some on my finger. I'm gonna have to fix that. So we're ready to go there. We're gonna go ahead and drip our Loctite on. So we're gonna make sure that's the hole that we cleaned up to when we threaded. We're gonna go ahead and just put that urethane, a nice little press in there. As you can see, we're nice and tight up against. We're gonna go ahead and put our pilot screw. Threading this little bad boy, little locking screw right back in where she was. So as you can see, we got, we're flush with the bar. Pretty noise noise. I'm gonna clean some of this. Went ahead now and measured our throttle cable. We have the same amount of pull length in our cable from here to here as we do at the bottom from the actual holder to the carp. We know we're from here to there, we're the same. So we're gonna go ahead and snip her right there. We're gonna go ahead and loosen these set screws right here, one on the side, one on the side, so we can then fit our cable right through. Then we're gonna slide our little copper fitting that came with our Exile throttle kit. We're gonna push that and the cable in as far as it'll go. We're gonna tighten these two set screws. And now she barely wanted to go, so we're done. Now our throttle cable kit's gonna go into the bar. So as you guys can see, we've got everything where it's supposed to be. We're gonna go ahead and put our little bump stop. Can you see that little hole there with the little opening? A little bit recessed. That's a recess for our little bump stop. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. We have our final sleeve right here. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and slide our sleeve on. And there's our sleeve, right? And that's essentially how it works. Now if you watch the throttle, try and keep my hands out of the way, you see how you're turning the throttle and it's spinning? See that little spinning action? And the throttle's opening? I'll let it go and you'll see it go back. That closes the throttle. Now once that's all done, the last step is, you're gonna want to apply a little bit of Loctite onto this little cap. We got a nice little strip of Loctite on there now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and thread that on there. I'm gonna give that a little tighten with an Allen key. There we go. Nice and snug. And that's it, and you'll look at our, still have full action with our twist grip. And that's it, next and last step up till now is installing our grip. Here's our grip right here. All right guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching our how to install the Exile Cycles internal throttle cable kit on pretty much any handlebar. That's a basic handlebar, one inch. They think they sell them in different sizes as well. Our particular bike was this Harley Fat Boy. However, this how to video, tutorial video pretty much 
it's every handlebar, so it's pretty much a similar, next the same installation process on all of them. So what we showed you here pretty much sets you straight for any every single application, so you'll be good. But uh, if you see our throttle cable kit, she's fully installed, everything's good to go. Our next video is going to be how to install your grips. Uh, Exile Cycles does sell their own grip as well, but if you want your grip to match possibly other items on your bike, a suicide shift, your other grip and you don't want to change your grip, or, or you like your grip better, it's going to show how to install whatever grips you want on this throttle cable kit. Uh, don't forget guys to like, comment and subscribe. We'll keep these videos coming if you guys keep hooking us up with those likes. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these type of videos or anything in particular you're curious about, go ahead and ask away. Just like we made this video to answer one of our viewers questions, uh, we'll be happy to do more for any questions you may have. Alright guys, be safe. Time to cycle, bro. <laughs>